President Moon Jae-in currently in Japan for the G20 summit is set to hold talks with his Russian counterpart. The two are likely to discuss the latest developments on North Korea's denuclearization. Shin Se-min has our top story. President Moon Jae-in at the G20 summit in Osaka is preparing for a critical sideline meeting later on this Friday evening with President Vladimir Putin of Russia. The main agenda between the two is the ongoing peace drive on the Korean Peninsula and what role each of the regional player must take on to push nuclear talks forward. Despite the summit being scheduled at an unusually late hour, the decision to hold the meeting alone signifies that both sides place a high level of importance on exchanging their views. The Russian leader had held a summit meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un in April, the regime's first diplomatic move since the not-so-successful second summit with U.S. President Trump in Hanoi. It is likely that during the Moon Putin meeting, the Russian leader could relay a message from Pyongyang to his South Korean counterpart, just as Chinese President Xi Jinping did a day earlier. President Moon may also call on Russia for its active role in helping to broker a third Pyongyang-Washington summit in the near future. Shortly after the Kim-Putin summit in Vladivostok, the Russian president called for multilateral talks on the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. South Korea's presidential office, however, stands firm that the most important discussions should be made between the actual parties North Korea and the U.S., and that any progress in nuclear talks should come from a meeting between Kim and Trump. President Moon, during his sit-down with Chinese President Xi Jinping Thursday, had learned that Pyongyang is still committed to denuclearization and that the North wishes to resolve the issue through dialogue. The Moon Putin summit is just one part of getting the major players back on track to get the nuclear talks moving. Round three of President Moon's critical diplomatic efforts begins this weekend when he hosts U.S. President Donald Trump in Seoul. Shin Se-min, Arirang News, Osaka.